Hey everyone, this is Mike from Mike's Do It Yourself. Today I'm in some really cool gear from the channel. Got my t-shirt on, got my hat on. And today I want to show you how to do a, uh, for this is a 2019 uh, CRV, Honda CRV. And I want to show you how to do the air filter and the cabin air filter and how to change those. And you know, how to inspect them, how to change them. Uh, it's fairly simple, so let's get started. Now the first step is to go over to your driver's seat and go ahead and pull the release from the hood. Well, that's gonna be this one right here. So you go ahead and pull that. And this will check your engine air filter. Then you go around to the front of your vehicle. And then you're gonna look for your air box. And so your air box is gonna be right in front here to the right as you're looking at your car or your SUV. And so it's gonna have four screws they're going to be 8 millimeter, or if you have a 5 16 that'll work too. So there'll be one here, one there, one to the back, and one to the back there. There's four total. And you don't need to pull them all the way out. So just get them most of the way out, and they should stay in there. And then as soon as they're all the way out of the bottom threads you'll be able to lift your air box up a little and then just take note of how the air filter goes in usually it's just one way so you don't have to be too concerned about it but uh, just take a look at that and see how it comes out and that's the way you want to put it back in so we'll lift the air box up take the air filter out and then if you have a shop vac, you look how filthy that one is. Now if you have a shop vac, you can go ahead and I like to uh, suck out all the dirt and debris out of the bottom of the air box. And this one looks fairly clean, so I'm not going to have to worry about it this time. Now this is a 2019 CRV, so it is the 1.5 liter that is a turbo and you can tell right on your engine see how this says turbo or on your sticker on your hood underneath your hood you'll see 1.5 liter so you want to make sure this also comes in a 2.4 liter that isn't turbocharged but as you can tell the air filter is different so when you order it or you go get your air filter just make sure you're getting the right one now for the 2019, this is how it looks for this particular air filter. fit in there, tighten the screws back down. Once you get your engine air filter changed or replaced or if you see it and it looks fine and then you want to check your cabin air filter go ahead and go to your glove box on the passenger side and there's going to be two notches one on the top left and the top right so there's the top left there's the top right so what you want to do is go ahead and push them in a little bit. Now if my light would cooperate here. You just push them in. And then on this side do the same thing. There we go. Now 
Now, if this little catch didn't disconnect, you'll want to push it down and then it'll go underneath this little bar. And so that will disengage it. And that will give you access to your cabin air filter. And go ahead and just push the tabs one on each side. Okay, once you get your glove box opened up, you'll go ahead and take this tab off and you'll see this up and that's just the way this piece goes that goes up like that when you're putting it back together or putting it back in there and then you want to look at the direction of your airflow now it's coming from the top and going down so you want to take note of that and you can also tell by whatever side has the nastiest look to it but you see how this side looks pretty clean and then this side looks really dirty so you can assume that the air goes through here from outside or from within and then it recirculates and then it goes out this way so you'll want to keep that direction of airflow if you have one on your new air filter so with this new air filter there is a direction where it shows down like that And usually these are pretty square, somewhat square, but um, just make sure if it doesn't go in one way, you know, you fit it in the other way. Like for this, looks like it could go in only one way, really. So we'll go ahead and push it in that way. see the arrows going down see the arrow going down there and then you can put the cover back on and just make sure it clicks on either side you want to reconnect this bar on the side so just go up with it so it locks into place and then you can push these tabs back in and that's all there is to it well I hope this has been helpful this has been Mike from Mike's Do Yourself don't forget to check out the merch on the merch store and good luck on your next Trauma Automotive project and the merch is available at mikesdiy.net.